close enough. <laughs> Last time on Sailing Music and Lyrics. So what's today? <coughs> it's Bahama Day. What's today? It's my birthday. It's your birthday. We Let the there. adventures begin. <laughs> been a good Saturday so far. Hope you guys are having a good one wherever you are. Our videos are not just for us to look back on later. They're for you. And if you enjoy them and want to see more, join the band on Patreon. Allen's Key is the first place of sailing from the north that feels like a true bohemian out island. The first thing you notice rounding the entrance, other than the throng of boats, is the aqua blue water. Nestled in the center of three small keys, the water is clear, calm, and almost free of ocean roll. During the day, the beaches fill up with boatloads of vacationers on tour. Everybody wanting their photo taken. Lisa was really glad to give them a hand. We even had a water plane stop in for a few. But don't worry, it calms down as the tours move on, leaving only the cruisers to roam the beaches. Iguanas are the only native inhabitants on these islands. And don't forget to see the ruins left behind. Southwest Allen's Key is a great little anchorage, and there is an awesome beach on the south side of the island. Make sure you do not miss that. Hey, what are you going to do today yeah. while I work? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got while I work from the cockpit in the sun. <laughs> yeah, I've got the dinghy strapped up for, I didn't know if we were going to go anywhere. But um, I'm going to wait for the current to die down a little bit. We're right at the, the height of the current. So once the current dies down, I think I'm going to go diving. Go see if I can so you, spearfish something. Maybe a conch? <laughs> I haven't seen a single conch in this entire A, a single a live conch. We've alive seen one, about yeah. a million conch shells, so yeah. we know they're here somewhere. Or they've been decimated. Maybe north. And I love your uh, playlist that you got going too. Oh yeah. The nightmare that is our cockpit right now. It uh, rained pretty hard last night. Every single one of our pillows got damaged. Well, not damaged, but got wet. Anyway, having a great day here in paradise. So far, we leave tomorrow, going to Highburn, do some provisioning, 
and we're taking off for Compass. I want to swim with the sharks. Here to Hybern Key, and um, yeah. they said, okay, it's the garbage is beyond the golf carts, and she left. And very clearly marked. I thought this was kind of cool. Garbage. Now we are off to have the first meal at a restaurant. Oh, I think since Florida. Since Florida, yeah. Since Florida. Yep. We and, gotta pay for it, trash. Yeah. yeah. And then um, then we're off to do some provisioning because this mother Hubbard's covered is quite bare. <laughs> yes, it is. How beautiful is this though? Oh, and look. Okay, so this is the beach, but look at what's beyond the beach right in front of us. Oh my God, could it be? Yes. There she is. The most beautiful girl in the world. And she's mine. Uh, finished doing our provisioning uh, in Highburn and had lunch. The lunch was absolutely amazing. Very good. Uh, we Best had a, a punk ceviche, we had coconut shrimp, and we had mussels with some sort of calypso uh, sauce. Mussels. It was really good. Um, provisioning. <laughs> <laughs> our three little bags here. $190. Yes, yeah, it's very expensive to buy stuff here. Um, but one of the big attractions here apparently at Highburn Key is the sharks. So we're going to go say hello. Come with us. I am not going to lie, that scared me. <laughs> I love the sense of humor. In the name of love. <laughs> Look and listen. <laughs> oh wait, let's let's look at this real quick. And then we'll go up that way. I don't know where we're going. Oh, I just want to see the sign. I don't know what this is. What is this? Weather, it says weather station. One coconut wet equals rain. Two coconuts white equals snow. Three coconut swinging equals windy. Four coconut gone, hurricane. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, this is very pretty. So we decided to drop the dinghy, come on to land, stretch our legs, see the sharks do absolutely nothing and um, we'll take off uh, a little bit later. Hopefully the sky will clear up a little bit. And instead of going to Compass, we will go down to Shroud, which is just a couple hours away, and regroup there. Another fabulous day in paradise.